G'day and welcome to Camper. On today's show, we check out the Retro Cafe in Tyro. That's our snack stop of the week. ARB's latest range of lighting and light bars. But let's start today's show with Elliot Heads on the Sugar Coast. About two hours north of Brisbane is the tiny town of Tyro, but while you're there, check out our campus snack stop of the week, the Retro Espresso Coffee Co. This place is fantastic. Not only is their coffee as good as you'll find anywhere, there are little treasures in this place that I haven't seen for decades. I think at my grandma's, we had almost exactly this same setting. Now kids, you, you watching, this is called Formica. It's a real retro experience, except for the coffee. No international roast or Pablo here. It gets five out of five cream buns. Top score. As the sun sets on another perfect day at the beach, we thought we might grab our mate Swifty's truck, head down to the water, and take another look at the amazing lighting system that he's added to his 79 series. Lights have changed so much over the last few years. These days they draw nothing, but can turn night into day. Just to give you an idea of what is standard and what some aftermarket light love looks like, I've brought my Ranger down to the beach also and parked it next to Swifty's truck. It's time for a light off. Slightly underwhelmed by, by my lighting, mate. Uh, I didn't even see you come in. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the, the sad fact of the matter is, is that that's legal. That is legal to drive anywhere in the country, and um, gee, you know, the difference between this and this is staggering, isn't it? I mean, you know, I would feel so much more secure and safe in an environment where I can see what's going on around me. I mean, a, a vehicle these days, they're fitted with a halogen light. I mean, that's old technology, really. Yeah. Um, you know, when you start getting into off-roading, things like that, I mean, you've got the possibility of animal strike, terrain, you want, to, you want to see that long before you reach it. Yeah, I guess the great irony uh, of, um, of these things, these aftermarket lighting accessories, is that unless you've had spotties, you don't know how good they are, do you? I mean, That's you, right, I mean, you, you don't You're kind know of fumbling around in the dark, quite literally. So tell me a little bit about the lighting configuration that you've put on your truck. It's pretty unique on my truck. Yeah. I've chosen the AR32s, which is the ARB intensity light. I've also got the AR40s up on the roof. So the 40 and the 32, that resembles the a number of LEDs. So we've talked about the spotties on the front. Tell me about uh, the, in, the inclusion of these other lights that run around. It's like a mobile disco, this truck. It is, so I've fitted um, side lighting, rear lighting, reverse, extra reverse lighting. Yep. Um, makes it easier when you're camping. Uh, you, can, you can switch that lighting on when you're inside the tent, all from your ARB link system. So you just mentioned the link system, and I've heard a little bit about this, but, but it's a new product to ARB, and what does it do? Look, it's a touch screen that's mounted in your vehicle that more or less eliminates the need for dash mounted switching, which in new vehicles now, there's not a lot of provisions for. So we've got the uh, the Lynx touch screen. Yep. I've, uh, you can go through and customise each name. We've got the AR32s, which are mounted on my bull bar. We can throw some light to the left, right, and the rear. Wow. But you can integrate all of your lighting and all of your other sort of tech services that are going on in the vehicle into this. Absolutely. Wow. You've got six provisions for the additional lighting. Now if you plan on doing a lot of driving at night, be it beach or bush, it would definitely pay to talk to the crew at ARB about the variety of lighting options for your rig. 
G'day, Dean Miller from Camper. To celebrate the launch of our new online TV show, we're giving away a fabulous ARB Skydome Series 1 swag. It's valued at $430. It's the best swag on the market. And here's how you win it. Click on the link below to enter the competition and to increase your number of entries, just follow the prompts. The more entries you have, the more chance of winning and you've got to be in it to win it. The ARB Skydome Series 1 swag is the most comfortable and airy swag that I've ever slept in. Made of heavy duty materials with terrific ventilation and 100% waterproof, the swag retails for $430 but it could be yours for free just for entering. The prize will be drawn on Friday, April 13. Register now and good luck.